pectoralis major muscle. The pectoralis major is the largest muscle in the chest region and is commonly referred to as the pecs. This muscle has two divisions, the clavicular and the sternal divisions. This muscle functions in movements of the arm and in positioning of the shoulder girdle during movements of the shoulder joint. It can also assist inhalation by lifting the rib cage. Here are the landmarks for the pectoralis major. We have the sternum, the clavicle, the costal cartilage, and the humerus. The pectoralis major in originates on the sternum, the costal cartilage, and the clavicle. And it inserts on the crest of the greater tubercle and the humerus. Contraction of the pectoralis major produces adduction of the humerus and scapular protraction, which is pulling of the scapula and shoulder forward and outward via the clavicle. The triceps and the teres major are synergistic during arm adduction and the serratus anterior is synergistic during scapular protraction. The deltoid and the supraspinatus are antagonistic during arm adduction and the trapezius and rhomboids are antagonistic during scapular protraction. The clinical findings for the pectoralis major muscle are as follows. Clients will complain of chest pain, anterior shoulder pain, pain down the ulnar aspect of the forearm and into the fourth and fifth fingers, breast tenderness or nipple hypersensitivity. If the pain is on the left side of the chest and arm, it can easily be confused with cardiac pain. A lot of times when your client complains of chest pain, they will also complain of pain between the shoulder blades. Some activating and perpetuating factors for pectoralis major trigger points include the head forward rounded shoulder posture, heavy lifting with the arms out in front of the body, use of hedge clippers, immobilization of the arm, chilling of the pec major muscle, high levels of anxiety, and possibly pain from a previous heart attack. Some trigger points that are associated with pectoralis major trigger points include the scalenes, the deltoids, the middle trapezius fibers, and the rhomboid trigger points. Clients with active pec major trigger points are commonly misdiagnosed with a condition known as angina pectoris and costochondritis, which is basically an inflammation of the cartilage around the rib cage.